Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay everybody and welcome to high school basketball on the my town sports network tonight we're live from summit kentucky in the boyd county middle school gymnasium as the boyd county lions play host to the greenup county musketeers in a my town matchup i'm greg preston glad to have you along tonight boyd county and head coach randy anderson enter tonight's matchup with the two-game winning streak after beating 64th district opponent fairview on tuesday night 98 to 43. That win also gave the Lions the number one seed come 64th District Tournament time. Boyd County is now 16-4 overall on the season and according to the RPI rankings, 14th in the state of Kentucky and first in the 16th region. Greenup County and head coach Corey Allison entered tonight's matchup uh, riding a four-game winning streak and an overall record of 11-9, the Musketeers at least according to the RPI rankings, are seventh in the 16th region, but they are a handful and playing really, really well right now. Oddly enough, these neighboring rivals haven't met since February 23rd of 2021. Boyd County came away with a 50-48 win right here at Boyd County Middle School Gymnasium. The Lions lead the all-time series 63-36, including the last seven in a row. Boyd County has won 30 of the previous 41 meetings right here in Summit. Joining me now is the best broadcast partner in the business, Tom Holbrook. And uh, coach, you know, tonight you've uh, you've got two teams coming in right now that may be peaking at the right time. Absolutely, coach. And as a coach, that's what you want. You want to be playing your best basketball at the end of January, heading into February in that district tournament, coach, and this Greenup team. They pass the uh, eye test, don't they, Coach? Yep, they do. You know, Boyd County, obviously, they only, uh, in the 64th district, you only have 
one seed game, which is the first game. In the 63rd, it's still both games, so you play six district games, and they're sitting uh, at 2-0 and right now. They play Lewis County on Monday night, which will be on My Town TV as well. Uh, and, you know, if they can go 3-0 and in that first half, they got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. A absolutely, Coach. I mean, uh, Coach Allison, he, he obviously knows what he's doing, Coach. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He's played collegiately. Uh, he has his boys playing well at the right time. He's got some good-looking athletes out here. And, Coach, I, I, I'm looking forward to this matchup tonight. It's been too long, like you said. Yes. Boyd Greenup used to be uh, the, the game. Yeah, know? oh, it and, did. And, uh, and back in the day. And I'd love for it to get to that point again, Coach. It's too good a rivalry. It is. And, you know, both teams play in these uh, bigger, bigger high school arenas uh, than normal high schools play in. So, you know, this backdrop isn't going to isn't going to affect anyone. <laughs> no, no, they're they're used to this. Yep. They got the greenhouse down there, green up coach, and the boys yeah. used to playing here. And yes, great you know, crowd here tonight too. And you know, these are two places that uh, 16th region used to uh, used to play in. That's right. When it came region tournament time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure is. We talked about that there. Uh, Glory Road night there earlier this week. The yes. number of region tournaments played here. So, yes, and Boyd County tonight be dressed in those white home uniforms with the red numerals and letters, and Greenup County be dressed in their gray or their <laughs> gold uniforms with the green and the uh, green numerals and letters. And we, I, I really think that we're going to have us a good one here tonight. Both teams playing with a lot of confidence. Both teams have a really good coaching staff. And both teams have a lot to play for. So, Absolutely, Coach. Yep. And, and you get a team that's won four in a row, Coach, they're, they're, they know how to win. Yeah, all you know absolutely they, they do. They know how to win. So, And, you know, you're wanting to get into that district game coming in on a high note. Yes, sir. And, and to win out here at Summit tonight would go a long way for Greenup County. Oh, gosh, Coach. They talk about a feather in their cap if they can pull this one off tonight. Yep, it, it would certainly be. Let's go ahead and step out right now and take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at tonight's starting lineups. You're watching the MyTown matchup on the MyTown Sports Network. Hi, welcome to Clark's Pump and Shop. Can I just see our world famous crispy, crunchy chicken? Mmm, chicken. Time to go to work. This holiday season, we're refueling with Clark's Pump and Shop. Return with fresh. Hopefully you do too. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap. HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. I know that we impacted him, it um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for.
Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Uh, that was such a great experience, though. No, that was awesome. We got definitely got to go back. Uh, do you got a gift card? No, I think you got it. All right, bet, 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 bet. Looking for the perfect gift this year? Pick up a Clark's Hub and Shop gift card. Welcome back here to Boyd County Middle School as we're about three and a half minutes away from tip-off with the uh, Musketeers of Greenup County and the uh, Lions of Boyd County here, Coach. And uh, I tell you what, Boyd County has brought the fans tonight. I know we're going to recognize our uh, youth league basketball here this evening, but Greenup County's packed the stands too. Yep, Greenup County's packed the stands right here behind us. Good to see a crowd in here like this. <clears throat> and, you know, before long we may be pulling those upper – bleachers out with uh, with the crowd that we've got here tonight. Uh, it'd be good to see, Coach. It's been a minute. It'd be good to see. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at tonight's starting lineups. For the Musketeers of Greenup County, number uh, one, Casey Gammon. Number three, Bryson Chandley. Number four, Eli Adkins. Number 21, Bradley Adkins. And number zero, Gavin Harrington. For the Boyd County Lions, nothing new here, folks. Number one, Cole Hicks. Number two, Jacob Spurlock. Number three, Jason Ellis. Number four, Griffin Taylor. And number 23, Rhett Holbrook. And you take a look at it uh, by uh, by grade. Um, Greenup County, two sophomores, two juniors, and a senior on the floor. Boyd County, one sophomore, three juniors, and a senior. So out of the ten guys on the floor, you only have two seniors. There's only two seniors, Coach. So, both uh, young. Yep, yep, both teams are young. And, you know, this is our first chance of taking a look at Greenham County this year. And uh, to say the least, they're an athletic bunch. They sure are, Coach, and I've heard nothing but good things about them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, uh, what, their, what their makeup is and then yes. how the Lions are going to come out and, and compete with them tonight. And, you know, both teams have got guys that can score the basketball. Now, if you take a look at it, you know, just by the numbers, obviously Boyd County scoring – um, at over 80 a game, Greenham County by scoring over 60 a game. Uh, but I got a feeling that uh, Greenham County is not going to try to get into one of those track meets here tonight. You know, when you play in that 63rd district, it's a grind. That's right, Coach. And you know what? I, I hope they don't. And I'm, I'm eager to see how the Lions react, Coach, because when it comes down to tar district tournament and regional tournament games, very rarely do you have those 70- yeah. and 80-point games. So yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see how the Lions can handle a half-court game. Yeah, yeah, because you're getting those high-scoring games in the postseason, that's an accident. Yes, sir. No doubt about that. Again, for Greenham County, it'll be Gammon, Chanley, Eli Atkins, Bradley Atkins, and Harrington. And for Boyd County, it'll be Hicks, Spurlock, Ellis, Taylor, and Holbrook. So that's looks your starting lineups for tonight's ball game. Uh, they're going to introduce the – uh, official starting lineups here in about a minute or so, and then we'll be ready to play some basketball 
here in Summit. And I know for you and I, uh, being here for a week in a row, it's been great not being on the road. <laughs> That's right. No Road Warriors this week, nope, Coach. Not That's this for sure. week. Strict matchup on Monday and then on Tuesday on, on my town, uh, Boyd County will play host to West Carter. Another home game. Yep, for another home game. Imagine that. And, and you know, um, you got some rivalry games coming up for yep. both teams. Yep. And uh, it, you can tell it's starting to become it, postseason it, it, now. That, that's right. All, all the extra cricketers and all these out-of-state games and Western Kentucky games, and that's all by the wayside yes. now, Coach. Now it's, it's starting to get real. Well, I mean, you know, you get 30 games a year. Both teams have played 20, so you're down to your last 10, and you're going have to have to fine-tune everything. And, you know, we'll see. You know, see how deep Greenham County goes. Boyd County goes about seven. Seven deep. But once we get digging back, we may go start pushing eight. But right now it's seven. Uh, but, uh, Coach, you know, th these last ten games, Coach, nothing, nothing else matters. You know what I'm saying? It, that, everything they've worked for has been the tradition right yes, now. Yes, yes. So introducing Cole Hicks right now to the crowd. is it, I think this is for his thousandth point a while back. Uh, so he's the third 1,000-point scorer. Uh, this season for Boyd County. So it's the first time they've ever had three uh, in the same year uh, on the court at the same time. When you average 80 points a game back-to-back -back years, Coach, it's no surprise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody has to have those points. Somebody does. So Green of County will be introduced to the crowd first here at Boyd County Middle School Gymnasium. And then uh, the Boyd County Lions. Of course, Randy Anderson's club 16-4. and four. And Corey Allison's club at 11 and nine. Coach, four games ago they were seven and nine, so they yes, turned it right they around. They turned it right around. So you're going to have two Atkins on the floor for Greenup County, and just here, you know, warm ups watching Eli Atkins. Uh, he's got some hops. Yes, <laughs> coach. He sure does. He was he was up there. And you know, you and I did the Boyd County Lexington Catholic game. He's one of those dudes that looks like one of those Lexington Catholic guys. Sure, sure that long sure league does. athlete. Yes. Greenup County already on the floor. Waiting to start the game here. Boyd County now being introduced to the crowd. It's gonna be a dog fight, is what it's gonna be. I hope so, Coach. I hope so. You know that Holbrook kid by any chance? All too well, Coach. All too All well. Too well. Nothing but trouble. Love the crowd here tonight. You got them standing on the second deck up there. That's great to see. Yes, it is. Well, just as, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first home game for Boyd County that we've had a, been in school that same day since this December. Since December. Okay. That is correct. Yeah. We've had a couple of snow, uh, NTI days, snow yep. days at Boyd County with very, very sparse crowd. But tonight, lower levels packed and standing up, stair, uh, up top of the rail. Jason Ellis will jump for Boyd County, Eli Atkins for Greenup County, and we're about ready to go here in Summit. And the tip is controlled, out knocked bounds. out of bounds, last touch yep. by Greenup County. So, Boyd County is going to get it on a side out. Now, does that count as a possession? Okay. It, it does. Yeah, if okay. you look at the official score, right. Mr. Stewart, he's got it next possession arrow, Greenup County. Hicks with it now to Holbrook, to Taylor. Circles around now to Hicks, down in the right corner. Spurlock, he'll fire for three, no good. Backside rebound, oh. tipped up and no good by Holbrook. Rebound to Greenup County. Eli Atkins up the left sideline, uh, slows it down. Spurlock picks him up at a Boyd County man-to-man. -man. Out front to Gammon, straight away three, good. Casey Gammon gets the first points of the night. Greenup County on the board, 3-0. Hicks the other way on the wing. Gets it out to Holbrook, right side now to Taylor. Greenham County in that man-to-man -man as well. Taylor moves to his left, gives it up to Holbrook. Holbrook goes down to Taylor, backs it out, gives to Ellis. Ellis to Spurlock, left corner of three this there time, good. We're tied up at three, 55 seconds into the ball game. 2-2-1 two, two, press here from Boyd County. Chanley with it in the backcourt. He's fouled by Spurlock, I believe. Let's see, there were, he split a trap. Let's see yep. who the call's on. You're right. 
And on Spur, that's going to be his first team foul number one of the quarter. Eli Atkins to trigger it in, throws it in the front court to Chanley. Back it goes to Eli Atkins to Gammon, drives the lane, puts up a floater in, and he's got all five Greenham County points. Hicks with it the other way in a hurry. Gives it up to Holbrook to Spurlock. Deep three, it's off the front iron and the backboard, no good. Gammon with the rebound, he'll bring it up the floor for the Musketeers. Behind his back, stops, pops from 18. Off to the left of the rim, no good. Rebound goes to Ellis. Throws it ahead and knocked out of bounds on a nice heady play by Gammon. Sure was. Ellis looked ahead, had Holbrook running down the right sideline. Gammon stepped right in. He's playing good, uh, good ball so far, Coach. Hicks to trigger it in. Side court, front court. Boyd County side into Taylor. Back to Hicks. Now to Holbrook out of front. Chanley is on him. Hands it off to Griffin Taylor. Drives to the foul line. Kicks right wing to Hicks. His three is no good. And another rebound for Casey Gammon. Gammon gives it up to Eli Adkins. Back it goes to Gammon. He fakes the three as Hicks is on him. To Chanley now, top of the key. Spurlock on him. He'll drive, hit it up off the glass. Hit good. Trying to draw that second one on Spurlock's what he's trying yeah, to do. He very close, too. Could have been called. Seven to three now, Greenup County. 5.50 left to go in the opening period. Spurlock with it on the left wing. Now drives down the lane, lays it up right hand and in. He's got all five Boyd County points as the Lions claw back to within two. Here comes that 2 2 1 press again. Chanley with it in the backcourt, into the front court, taken away though by Spurlock. Transition three, in and out. Backside rebound, Hicks up and in. We're tied at seven. 5.25 left to go in the first. Boyd Ketty again with that 2-2-1 press. Chanley with it in the backcourt. Has his pass uh, knocked away and chased down by Taylor. Foul line jumper no good, but Holbrook with the offensive rebound. They swing it all the way around to Hicks. Gets it to Ellis. Mm. Up, no good. Twice off the rim, no good. Chanley with the rebound. Ahead to Gamut. Up the left sideline. Crosses over, gets in the paint. Shoots, it's no good. Rebound being battled for. Ellis has it. The big man will lead the break for Boyd County. Goes to Hicks right side. Now to Taylor. Nice look down a low feed. to a cutting Jason Ellis who lays it up and in. Boyd County with their first lead of the night at 9-7. to seven. Just over four and a half minutes left to go first quarter. Gammon with it. Cross courts it in the front court now to Harrington. Has his shot swatted away and out of bounds by Jason Ellis. Ellis the all-time leading Shot blocker here at Boyd County. Adding to his total, Coach. Uh, he tried the Euro step there, Coach, and couldn't get any elevation. It made it easy for Ellis yep. there. And what is this game number 152, I think? 151 or 152 tonight for Ellis as well. Triggered into Harrington. Back it goes to Eli Atkins. His three ball, no good. Rebound knocked out to Gammon deep. straight away. A deep three, no good. Who has it? Hicks does. Throws it up front to Ellis. Goes in, tries to jam it home, but... He's fouled by Gammon. What a pace, Coach. Yep. Both teams. Both teams getting it up and down the floor right now. That's Gammon's first, Greenup County's first. 4-14 left to go, opening period. 9-7, Boyd County. Jason Ellis to the line uh, to shoot a pair of free throws. First one is on the way and good. Ellis comes in shooting 50.8% on the season. 10-7 now Lions. And the second one on the way and good. Both of those look good, Coach. Very fluid, very yep, fluid. Yep, no rim at all either. 2-2-1 two, two, press again. Chanley with it, right side line. Into the front court to Bradley Atkins. He'll drive and lay it up and in. Weak side, no rotation on yep. the press there. Taylor with it now. To Holbrook out between the circles. Moves right, gives back to Taylor. Both teams have been man-to-man -man the whole way here. Taylor to Ellis. Out front to Hicks, take it away by Bradley Atkins. He'll drive and lay up it in, and we're tied up at 11. Four, four quick points for Atkins there. Yep. 3.40 left to go in the first quarter. Spurlock with it. Drives left of the lane, stops foul line, and hits. 13-11 now, Boyd County. Under three and a half left to go in the quarter. 2-2-1 two, two, press again into the front court to Bradley Atkins. Loses it but gets it back. And now he's in a double team. Gives it to Gammon down in the corner. 
Out front to Eli Atkins, straight away three yeah, good. He didn't miss any warm-ups either. Greenham County back up 14-13 now. The other way, Hicks with the layup, no good. Rebound, who's going to get it? Bradley Atkins is. He picks his dribble up. Boyd County still in that pressure. Full court, throws it ahead to Chandley. Chandley drives middle of the lane, lays it up, no good. Rebound goes to Ellis, ahead it goes to Taylor. Taylor will lead the break, takes it all the way, left hand off the window and in. That's impressive. The Lions back on top, 15-14, and what a quarter this Frantic has been. Pass, my goodness. Two and a half left to go in it. Gammon with it in the front court. Nice look down low to Bradley Atkins, misses the shot as it was contested. Spurlock with the rebound, pitches it into the front court to Hicks. Hicks, nice stutter step, gets around and scores. 17-14 now, Lions. Eli Atkins with it to Gammon. 2-2-1 half court press now by Boyd County. Ball taken away, hit by Ellis into the hands of Hicks. Nice pass to a cutting Taylor for the layup. 19-14. Very unselfish. Under two minutes left to go in the quarter. Gammon tries to split a double team, but before that, Corey Allison wants a timeout, a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. That 2-2-1 two, two, press is giving Greenham County a little bit of trouble. A little bit, a little bit of trouble, yes, sir, Coach. But you can see on the offensive end in a half-court set, they're trying to attack the yes. rim, Coach. Yep, they are. Now, they'll take the open three when it's there, but otherwise they're attacking that rim. They are, and they're doing a good job of getting into the paint. They sure and, are. And this has been, uh, up to this point, a very physical ball game. It sure has, and kudos to the referees. Yes. Very consistent, letting yes. them play on both ends. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I think that the 2-2-1, what it's really done, it's sped the game up a whole lot. It sure has. Absolutely, Coach. Once, once Greenup has gotten it across, they're looking to attack. Yes. And, you know, we're going to see who's got legs left in the fourth quarter is <laughs> what right. we're going to see. That's right. I don't know if I have voice or not, but we'll see who has you, legs. You've got it. <laughs> so it's Greenup County basketball to trigger it in right here just to the right of us. Eli Adkins, Boyd County still in that man-to-man. Atkins will throw it to Gammon in the backcourt. Hicks will pick him up now. Crosses the timeline, goes between his legs, goes again, drives behind his back, cut off, step under, and puts it in. What a shot. That was impressive. What a shot. Seven in the quarter now for Gammon. Hicks with it, left corner, three good. He'll answer. Assist Griffin Taylor. Yep, seven now for Hicks. 22-16, 22-16, Boyd County, a minute 27 left to go in the first. Eli Adkins crosses over, loses it, gets it back. Goes down in the corner to Chanley, picked up by Ellis, tries to go on the block, knocked away. Running the break is Cole Hicks, transition three, good. He's feeling it. That's two in a row from uh, two in a row on threes in the last two possessions. And it's 24-16, just over a minute left here in the first quarter. Adkins with the basketball, Eli that is, gets to the paint. Nice job by Spurlock to block the shot. Put back up by Chanley and no good. Now Holbrook will lead the break. Finds Hicks in the corner, three good. Again, three in a row. row. 28-16. Assist Holbrook with 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Chanley with it. Picks his dribble up out of here on the wing. I'm sorry, that was Harrington. Now gives it to Chanley. Chanley with it to Eli Adkins. Three on the way, good. That'll stop the bleeding. Yep, he doesn't miss. That's two threes for him, six here in the quarter. We're down to 18 seconds left to go. Martin and Smith set to check in for Boyd County, but it's probably going to have to be to start the second quarter. Under 10 seconds left. Taylor gets the screen. Nope, doesn't use it. Goes to his right to Hicks. Three, no good. Rebound knocked out to Taylor. Taylor foul line jumper at the buzzer is good. And that is where the quarter will end. Boyd County on top of Greenup County, 30 to 19. Back after this, you're watching the My Town matchup on the My Town Sports Network. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. 
Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Welcome back to Boyd County Middle School uh, as the Lions lead the Musketeers 30 to 19, Coach. That was a battle. But the combined seven threes between the teams. Yes, uh, you know, and it stayed tight there until towards the end of the quarter. The last two minutes. Yeah, yes, when Hicks got hot. Uh, Alex Martin in for Boyd County along with Drew Smith as Taylor goes out and Holbrook goes out. Well earned break right there. Yes, Greenup County with the basketball. They throw it in to Ethan Gibson, who checked into the game during the break for Greenup County. Eli Atkins with the basketball, moves to his right, has it between the circles, now to his left. Goes to Gibson. Gibson looks, Ellis is on him. Hands it back off to Atkins. He'll try a three, no good. Rebound goes to Hicks, but we got a foul somewhere along the way. He didn't, the referee didn't, didn't appreciate the block out here on someone for Boyd County. That'll be three, Ellis. Ellis picks up his first team foul number one here in the quarter. So Greenham County will get the basketball back. 7.38 left to go before halftime. It's an 11 point Boyd County lead and Gibson will trigger it in underneath his own basket. He throws it in to the foul line to Eli Atkins. Eli will drive up and under, no good. Rebound fought for, Bradley Atkins gets it and puts it up and in. Picked up the loose ball. Bradley Atkins now with a half dozen. Hicks with the basketball to Spurlock. He'll try a three, good. Spurlock in double figures now with 10. Casey Gammon in a hurry the other way. Shake and bake, gets it in the right of the lane, puts it up, no good, and Hicks is going to foul him. And Casey Gammon is going to go to the line and shoot two free throws. Hicks is first. The second of the quarter on Boyd County. Gammon is a scorer, Coach. He knows yeah. what to do with the basketball. Yeah, he does. He's been moved to the to the point guard. He's 79.5% uh, on the season from the free throw line, and you can see why as he hits that, he's got eight here in the first half now. He has a plethora of offensive moves, Coach. Very impressive. And he's, uh, and he's a nice shortstop for the baseball team, too. <laughs> Holbrook checks back in for Boyd County, and Spurlock goes out. Second one up and no good this time by Gammon. Martin with the rebound to Smith. To Holbrook, he'll fire for three in transition, in and out. Gammon with the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court himself. Ninth look, down low to Gibson, fakes, shoots, and scores. Gibson, his first bucket of the evening. Holbrook with it now. Drives right of the lane, goes up, no good. Rebound, fall for jump ball between Alex Martin and Ethan Gibson. Alternate possession stays on the Boyd County end. They'll trigger it in from their own baseline to the left of the basket. Drew Smith will do so. Looks, gets it into Hicks. Hicks now to Martin. Martin got caught up in the air, gets it to Smith left side, three, no good. Gibson, nice block out and a rebound. Going the other way with its gammon. Splits a double team, has it knocked loose, runs it down. Gets it to Eli Atkins, three. It's no good. Backside rebound, chased down by Smith. Into the front court to Hicks. Stutter step, can't get anywhere. Now finds Ellis down low, who lays it in. That's a good find. 35-24. It remains a, an 11-point lead here for Boyd County. Just over six minutes left to go in the half on this My Town matchup. Eli Atkins with the basketball. Hicks is on him. Moves to his left. Goes down the middle of the lane. Lays it up. No good, but tips it back up and in. He looked like he wanted to do a little harm on that one. He sure did. Hicks with it. Drives to Holbrook. Three. Nope. No good. Rebound goes to Gammon. Gammon. Baseball pass to Eli Atkins over here on the left hash. Back to Gammon between the circles. Goes right, now left behind his back. 
Gets in the lane, shoots, no good. Gets his own rebound. Tries to create space, goes up again, no good. Martin with the rebound to Hicks. Across the 10 second line. In the corner it goes to Smith. Back to Hicks, drives, lays it up, no good. Rebound fought for Holbrook with it. Has his shot blocked, but Smith gets it. Jumper, no good. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Martin. 5-16 left to go now, second quarter. 35-26 Boyd County. R.J. Veach checks in for the first time tonight for Greenup County. So both teams so far have gone seven deep. <laughs> you see some uh, winded players asking for some water for both sides right yes. now. Yes. Eli Atkins with it into the front court. Goes to his right. Eurostep puts it up, no good. Martin with the rebound. Nice pitch ahead to Taylor, who's back into the ball game. Taylor stops, 15-footer, no good. Rebound goes to Chandley. To Gammon in the front court. Now it goes to Gibson down in the corner. Tries to go to Veach and knocked out of bounds by Griffin Taylor. He had the steal, Step but he the stepped on the baseline. Stepped on the baseline. Boyd County student section disagrees. <laughs> but it's not going to get It's me. not going to happen, not is it? Matter. And Gibson will trigger it in. Left of the basket for Green, make that right of the basket for Greenham County. Looks, and we got a five second call or a timeout. We got a five second call. Yep. 35 26, 444. Left to go first half. Taylor for Boyd County will just walk it up the floor. Met at the half court line by Gammon. Goes to Smith, left side, Veach on him. They swing it around now down in the corner to Ellis, right side. Ellis to Smith. Smith puts it on the floor, backs it out now to the hash mark left side. Now top of the key with it. Goes to the well, get it in the corner to Martin. He's left open for three. It's no good. Holbrook offensive rebound. One dribble up and in, and he's fouled. Good strong take. And I think that's going to go against Eli Atkins. Yes, sir, you're right. His first team foul number one of the quarter, Greenup County. Spurlock returns for the Lions, and Ellis goes out. It's his first break. And Cole Hicks set to check in as well. He's going to replace Alex Martin. Red Holbrook will go to the line, a chance to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. 35-26 is your score. Nope, 37-26. Free throw, no good. Rebound goes to Greenup County and Chandley to Eli Atkins up the right side line. Eli's the only Atkins in now for Greenup County. Back to Chandley. He'll step inside the three-point line. His shot is short, and Holbrook gets the rebound. He'll lead the break, top of the key, moves to his left. Nice spin move in. Lays it up, won't go. Gets his own rebound, but he's going to go over top of the back. Nice block out that time by Gibson. Holbrook picks up his first. He's had few shots tonight. That ball's all around that rim, just not falling right now. It's not. That's uh, four for Boyd County in the quarter. 2-2-1 two, two, press. Atkins with the ball to Chandley. Still in the backcourt with it. Chandley with the left-hand dribble. <laughs> still shy of the timeline. Hicks picks the pass off. Nice look ahead to Taylor, goes up, has it pinned against the backboard. Don't go in, but he's fouled. Chandley's going to pick it up. Well, that looked clean, Coach. I'll tell you what, it really did. That was, a, that was an extremely athletic move, too. Looked like Kawhi Leonard there just pinning it against the backboard. Yes. Big hand up there, just wasn't going in. Griffin Taylor toes the line. Six points tonight, all of those in the first quarter. And the first one on the way is in and out. Griffin 60% on the year. Bradley Adkins returns and Veach out for Greenup County. So you got both Adkins in now for Greenup County. Second free throw is good by Taylor. Give him seven, 38, 26. Boyd County, their largest lead of 12. 2-2-1 two, two, press again. Hicks picks another pass off to Taylor. Drives, gives to Holbrook. Holbrook out front to a wide open. Hicks three, no good to the right of the rim. Eli Atkins skies to get the rebound. Brings it into the front court, dribbles it off his foot and out of bounds. Man. 
He had a man in the corner, too, down here, Coach, wide open. Yep. I think that's where he was going, but he got ahead of himself. Tell you what, you talk about the speed of the game speeding up tonight. <laughs> Both teams with some really, really superb athletes on the floor. Very impressed with Greenham County, Coach. Very impressed. Yes. Taylor with the basketball. Right side, Spurlock. He's got space three short. Nice block out. Goes to Gibson. Amen. And they'll pitch it ahead to Chanley. He yep. travels with the basketball. I he thought they he, were going to say he dribbled it on the line, but he traveled no, he, with he it. He took two steps, and then he took a jump step. Yes. And that was it. And we've got a timeout on the floor, a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Charge to Boyd County, 38-26. Two minutes, 59 seconds left to go before halftime. And what a half. <laughs> uh, the fan, uh, what a game for the fans to be seeing right now, Coach. Yes, yes it is. You know. Well, and they've pulled out the bleachers up on the second deck. They sure have. First time I've seen that this year. Yes, it is. I'll tell you what, love to see these crowds here like this. And, you know, uh, like you said, kids uh, for the first time here at Boyd County in over a month uh, in school and have a game, and so they're taking advantage <laughs> they of it. They sure are. The weather broke at 60 degrees today. Yeah. Great opportunity to get out. Both, both teams have great support here tonight. Yep, they do. So it'll be Boyd County basketball, 84 feet from their own basket and a 12-point lead as Taylor crosses the timeline to Hicks right side, out front now to Smith. Swings it left side to Taylor, to Hicks, to Spurlock. Spurlock on the right wing. Gets inside the circle, shoots and scores from 17. That's 12 now for Spurlock, 40-26 Boyd County. The Lions now still in that press. The other way, Eli Atkins lays it up and in. He's got great body control, Coach. He does. Boyd County changed their press up that time. The other way, Cole Hicks with the runner and answer. His first points of the quarter. Now they go back to that 2-2-1 here, it looks like. In the front court with it is Gibson, deep three, good. Whoa. Whoa, I heard someone behind me yell, shoot it. I yeah. thought, no way, he's 30 feet. And he did. No rim on that at all. Smith, three straight away, good with the answer. Anything you can do. Going to try to match it. Yep. 2-2-1 two, two, press here for Boyd County. Eli Atkins throws it in the front court to Gibson. Backside to mm. Bradley Atkins. Left, uh, lays it up at in, yep. like you said, first time. The backside rotation just a little bit late. The other way, Boyd County misses a shot. Casey Gamming runs the other way, tries to lob it down low, and it finds its way to Chanley, who misses it. Gammon gets it, though, and puts it up and in. Greenham County winning that loose ball. Gammon in double figures with 10. Holbrook with it, gives it to Smith. 10-footer, no good. Eli Atkins, another rebound. A minute 20 left to go in the half. 45-35, Boyd County. Gammon deep three, in and out. Spurlock with the rebound. Pitches it ahead to Hicks. Hicks drives baseline, lays it up and in. That's four and a quarter for Hicks. We're down to a minute and a half. 47-35, Boyd County. Greenham County's going to walk it across the timeline with Eli Adkins. Holbrook comes out to meet him and that Boyd County man-to-man. -man. And Greenham County wants a timeout here. 48.9 seconds left. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Martin and Ellis return for Boyd County. Greenham County coach Allison, I think coach signifying the importance of this play yes. right here, coach, and how important it is to get a bucket for Greenup right now uh, to cut, hopefully get this into possibly yes. single digits. Yep, that's that's what he's looking to do here. Yep. And Not yeah. wanting to give Boyd County a chance to, no. to score, in my opinion. I don't know yep, this, yep. but I would well, think. Well, this is the first trip we've seen him slow the ball down. Yep. Yeah, very intentional here, and, and to call a timeout with, with just under 50 seconds, obviously he's got a purpose here. Yes. So Greenham County get the basketball right here in front of us. Gibson, Gammon, both Adkins and Chanley on the floor for Greenham County. Ellis, uh, Spurlock, Hicks, Taylor, and Martin for Boyd County. Eli Adkins throws it in the backcourt to Casey Gammon. He'll cross the timeline, moves to his left. Taylor is on him, goes down in the corner, picks his dribble up, 
Now gives to Gibson out here on the hash mark. Martin is on him. Moves out to the circle and gives it up to Chanley. Chanley drives, has it stripped loose by Spurlock, chased down by Martin. Martin's going to take it all the way himself and lay it up and in. Martin's first two of the evening, and it's 49-35, under 20 seconds left to go in the half. Chanley with it now in the front court. Drives, cut off, goes between his legs, gets in the paint. Shot blocked by Ellis, Ooh. and rebound to Taylor. Ooh. And what do we have? Eli Atkins with the reach okay, in here. Eli Atkins picks mm. up his second. Not what you want for Coach no, Allison. Not with five seconds no. left to go in the half. And, yep, you're right. Veach is coming in, yep. and I'm sure it's for Eli Atkins. Sure is. Cole Hicks to trigger it in right here in front of us. 5.1 left. Throws it in the backcourt to Taylor. He'll drive, goes behind his back, gets the Spurlock open for three, no good. And that's where the half will end. Boyd County on top. 49 to 35, and what a frantic pace it was in the first half. Back after this, you're watching the My Town matchup on the My Town Sports Network. We take pride in our schools, and at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Here, Coach Boyd County Middle School, as the uh, PA announcer Mike Blankenship recognizing all the student athletes in the Boyd County Youth League basketball. Yep, system here, Coach, and we've got a bunch of them. We've got a bunch of them here, and that's a good thing to see. You got to have a good feeder program to to keep things going. And there's your future, right and there. And there's your future. And they're still announcing. And yep. they're still coming. And in. they're still coming out. <laughs> Here at the half, Boyd County leads Greenup County 49-35. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at the unofficial scoring for the first half. Unofficially, as the Lions lead 49-35 for the Musketeers, Gannon with 10, Chanley with 2, Eli Adkins with 10, Coach, uh, Bradley Adkins with 8, and then Gibson off the bench with 5, Coach, a big 3, big deep 3 he had earlier. And for the Boyd County Lions, led in scoring by Cole Hicks, 17, uh, Spurlock with 12, Griff with seven, Griffin Taylor that is, Jason Ellis with six, Drew Smith and Alex Martin off the bench, three and two respectively, and then Red Holbrook with a deuce here uh, late. So uh, that sets the score at halftime, 49 to 35, Coach, and what an entertaining first half to say the least. Yep, it has been. I mean, as a fan, you love to see this pace. <laughs> sure I mean, do. you really do. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you're going to have some – some tired puppies at the end of the night when when uh, when this thing's over. 
And, and you know, now, you know, if you were Greenham County, you were down 47-35. You used that second timeout yep. to try to get the shot that you wanted. It didn't work out. Boyd County ends up scoring on the other end. Yep. And instead of getting it down to 10, maybe 9, it's now a 14-point yep. lead. And, uh, you know, as we come out in the second half, Greenham County is going to get the basketball. And so they need to score. That, they do, Coach. That was, that was a four-point swing right there. Two yes. you didn't get and two the opponents did get. So yes. that's four-point swing. Uh, Coach Allison, none too happy as he left the court today with, with, with that going on. But, yeah, you're right. You can guarantee he's drawing up something now, talking to his guys about taking care of the basketball. Yep. They're doing a good job of crashing the boards. They're doing oh, a great job are. being aggressive. Uh, he's, he's going to talk to him about beating that press. Uh -huh. You know, that's what's caused him some issues, you know. Yes. But then, and how important this first bucket is, his first possession is right here. Yep. And now if you're Boyd County in the other locker room, are you going to come out and try to mix some defenses up? I think you have to, Coach, That you know, because they're, they're, cause Coach Allison is preparing for the 2-2-1. Two, two, if I'm Coach A, I'm coming out and I'm, I'm something completely yep. different until maybe mid-third quarter or fourth quarter, then go back to the 2-2-1 two, two, yes, if yes. necessary. Yep. And uh, we'll see what happens here. And, you know, both teams have, have been man-to-man -man the whole way. Yes, sir. Uh, once they've gotten into the half-court sets. And there's not been many of those half-court sets. No. Uh, to, you know, no. No, yeah. when Green is beating the press, they're attacking or, or shooting a 25-foot three-pointer. Yeah. A la Gibson, who nailed and it. And he nailed it. My goodness. And, you know, you've got 84 points scored in the first half of combined basketball. I'll tell you what, um, I think uh, when I played basketball, I played in the wrong era. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, uh, now it's never a shot that you there, didn't like. Coach, a bad shot's better than a turnover any day. That's the philosophy yeah, that, right now. Well, but there's a lot of truth to that as well. <laughs> Except uh, we've seen our share of some bad shots tonight. Yeah, we have. We have. Some of them have gone in. That's right. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm impressed. Uh, my first time seeing Greenup County, I'm really impressed. I mean, they they have a ton of athleticism. Coach, they've got the pieces there. Coach Alice is doing And, you know, like you said, one senior coach. Yes. So this this Greenup group, keep your eyes on them, folks. They're, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with toward the end of this year and then especially going into next year. Yep, they are. And now, you know, the thing to take a look at as we uh, get near the second half here is do you go at Eli Atkins and try to get him to get a quick third? Because he's been a big piece to Greenup County. He sure has, Coach. He, he's, he's been it. And, you know, I, I don't think you primarily do. Boyd County has so many guys that can score. Yes. You know, uh, if it happens, it happens. His second foul coach was with five seconds left reaching yep. in after a turnover. Three very, quarters very of the cheap. court. Yep. I, don't, I don't, you know, it's it, – just what I've seen tonight, it's not in him to foul a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with that. I wonder about, you know, Greenham's depth. They used several players tonight, but yep. they're they're one short already. Is that correct? Yep. Um, Cohen Underwood, uh, a normal starter, yep. uh, not playing tonight. Um, I don't know the situation of anything, but I was just informed uh, earlier today that he wouldn't be playing. I'm buddies with uh, Greenham County assistant coach Jason Gammon, and I asked him about the lineups tonight. And he said, we got one out. And, uh, you know, I shout out to him for helping me get all this stuff ready yes, for sir. today, uh, for tonight, too. Yes, sir. It's uh, good to have the network, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, and, you know, what a lot of people don't understand, once you've coached and you have that network, you help each other. And yes, that's the part that a lot of people don't see. That's exactly right. 49-35, Boyd County leads it here at the break. Let's go ahead, step out, take our final break of the half. You're watching the My Town Matchup. On my uh, on the My Town Sports Network. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you. You know they know you by name. You know you may not go in there for a day or you know several years, and I think. You go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people.
At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hey, man, can we hurry this up and try fuel for the bowl season, man? We take it too long. Welcome back here, folks. Uh, just about ready to just tip off the third quarter here. It'll be Greenup County basketball as they're down right now, 35 to 49 through the lines of Boyd County. And uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see what type of place uh, pace we have here. You know, trailing 14, you're going to expect uh, at some point uh, if they don't get in back into this early, uh, some full court pressure from Greenup County. They're going to have to. They they can't go stall. They can't. Uh, you know, use 45 or 50 seconds off the clock each possession. They're going to have to, to uh, stay with the pace they've had. They're just going to have to give themselves more chances on the offensive yes. board by taking care of it and offensive boards and then hoping Boyd County goes cold a little bit. Yep, and I'll tell you what, both teams have made a lot of tough contested shots sure in this ballgame. Uh, Gammon and Adkins, Eli Adkins for, for Greenham. They've yes. hit some shots, Coach. I've not seen anybody else hit this year. Yes, I mean, uh, I, I've enjoyed watching this game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very fun game to watch. For Greenup County, it'll be their same starting lineup in Harrington. Bradley Atkins, Eli Atkins, Chanley, and Casey Gammon. Boyd County will come out with their original five as well. Hicks, Spurlock, Ellis, Taylor, and Holbrook. Both teams played seven different players in the first half. Greenup County basketball to start the half. Eli Atkins will trigger it in from the timeline looks. Boy, County going to open up. It looks like in the man-to-man. -man. Gammon with the basketball in the backcourt to get it. Now crosses the time stripe. Left-hand dribble moves left. Picks his dribble up out near the half-court line. Hicks is on him. Gives it up now to Bradley Atkins. Atkins backs it out. Now he picks it up. Taylor comes out to get him. Bounce pass. It goes to Harrington, who gives it now to Eli Atkins out on the left hash mark. He's going to direct traffic here. Holbrook is on him. Tries to go right side. Spurlock picks the pass off. One on two break. Spurlock takes it and lays it up and in anyway. 14 now for Spur, and it's a 51-35 Boyd County lead. The other way with it, Eli Atkins gives to Casey Gammon. Gammon drives right of the lane off the glass. No good. Rebound fought for Ellis with it. Throws it ahead to Holbrook. Holbrook throws it off the glass. No good. And he's fouled as he was falling down. <laughs> it was reminiscent of them two playing football this year. <laughs> yeah, what a green up in Boyd County game right by there. By Harrington. Harrington yeah, picks up his first. And the team first of the quarter. They're not going to give him the shot on that. Oh, yeah, two shots. Okay. Yeah. All right, I thought they wasn't. And the foul was on? Harrington. Harrington, okay. Or at least that's what I had it with. Now, because they don't have a two on the floor, and they've got. Oh. So. Zero. There we go. Yeah, You're okay. Right. All right. You're right. <laughs> so, Holbrook will toe the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Holbrook at the line for two shots. And the first one on the way is good. And that was just good hard play. Good, I yes. mean, there was nothing malicious no, about no, it at all. not at all. Just good, two guys going after the basketball. Two competitors. Yeah. Second one up, no good. Hicks offensive rebound. Out front it goes to Taylor to Spurlock. Three, no good. And oh. Bradley Atkins, or make that Eli, Eli Atkins, had the rebound, oh. lost it out of bounds. Right through his hands. He had yep. that. Great position, great box out. He had it. So the Lions will trigger it in underneath their own basket to the right side of it. Into the Spurlock in the corner. He'll try a three again. This time he doesn't miss. Five here in just over a minute in the quarter for Spurlock. 55-35. The 14-point halftime lead now up to 20 as it's a 6-0 run to start the half. Chanley with it. Gives it up now to Eli Adkins. He'll drive down the middle of the lane. 
shoots it. It's no good. Great defense. Rebound knocked Got around into the, the hands of Atkins. Goes mm. up and lays it in. He almost slammed that home. Yes, Eli Atkins with a dozen now. Hicks with it now down in the corner. Drives baseline. Goes opposite corner to Holbrook. He'll drive baseline. Put it up. No good. Rebound goes to. Got to use the backboard. Harrington. Gammon with it tied up at the top of the key sure and is. a jump ball yep. and alternate possession goes to Boyd County. He picked that ball up, Coach, at the elbow there. Yes. Just nowhere to go. Nowhere no man's to go. Land. That's what Coach Allison's telling him. And his dad, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor with the basketball for Boyd County. Front court. Left side to Holbrook out on the wing. Right wing now goes to Spurlock, puts it on the floor, goes baseline, puts it up and in from about 10. Seven for him in the quarter already. 57-37, back up to a 20-point Boyd County lead. Boyd County half-court man-to-man now. Eli Atkins with the basketball left side. On the block now, it goes to Harrington. Moves to his right, goes up, and in and out. How many have done that tonight? Yes. Those teams. Ellis with the rebound, throws it way ahead to Holbrook. Back it goes to Ellis, top of the key. Drives down, kicks it right corner to Hicks for Boom. three. Good. 60-37 now, Boyd County. The Lions again drop back in that half-court man-to-man. Gammon into the front court. Calls a timeout. It's a full timeout. Greenham County, if I'm correct by what I've got. Yes, sir. Full. So it is 60-37, Boy County. 5-16 left to go in the third. You're watching the My Town matchup on the My Town Sports Network. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call any of them, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Coach, the uh, Boyd County Lions come out on 11-2 run to start the third quarter, Coach, to extend that 14-point halftime late out to 23. Yep. Greenup County now has used three timeouts. They got two full left. Boyd County still has a 30 and three fulls left. Coach Allison trying to stop the bleeding. Yes. Eli Atkins to trigger it in far sideline, throws it in to Chandley. Chandley looks it over, Spurlock is on him, moves to his right, gets down the middle of the lane, lays it up, no good. Rebound goes to Ellis, a lot of contact. The other way, Spurlock with it, top of the key, three, good. Great unselfish teamwork there, boys. Ellis to Holbrook to Spurlock. And when you can touch that many times, the ball that many times on a break, you're doing good. Yes, sir. Gammon with the basketball right side. Hicks is on him, down to 450 in the third, 63-37. Driving is Gammon, no good. Ellis with the rebound, ahead it goes to Higgs. Transition three with the step back, and he hits. His second three of the quarter. 65-37, just over four and a half left to go third quarter. Gammon up the right sideline with it, slows it down into the front court, moves to his left, keeps his dribble alive over on the wing, now picks it up. Spurlock on him, on the block it goes to Harrington, dribbles off his foot, and Taylor's got it going the other way, lays it up and in. Great job there by Taylor putting Bradley Adkins on he his was. hip. Great job. And not letting him block that. Gammon goes the other way. Elbow jumper is good. <laughs> He's going to score the basketball. He can. He sure can. Boy, County in a hurry the other way. Spurlock three from the corner. He answers. And he's going to score the basketball. It's yes. his third three. Yes. This quarter, I should this say. This quarter, 70-39. Gammon with the basketball again. Right side, between his legs, loses it, walks with the basketball. Got it mm. caught on his hip. Yep. Lions pulling away here, Coach. They are relentless right now. This they could, are. This there. could be the best collective defensive effort I've seen them have man-to-man -man this year. And I agree with you on that. And we've seen them every game. <laughs> Holbrook with it, left side to Taylor. 
Now to Spurlock. Spurlock goes down the middle of the lane. He's fouled. Made the basket, but it was afterwards. Wipe it off. Yep. And I can't see the numbers that he was given. Bradley Adkins. His first. Lions trigger it in. Ellis with the basketball. Drives down the lane. Wrong-footed layup goes in. I couldn't see it. I was blocked there for yep. a second. Went up with that right foot off the right foot and right hand. Away from the basket. Away from the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a coach taught him. It was effective. <laughs> Gammon with the basketball. He'll direct traffic. Holbrook is on him. Gets it down on the block now to Chanley. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Taylor. Pitches ahead to Spurlock. Open in the corner three. This one's off the mark. Gammon with the backside rebound. Has the ball knocked loose. Into the hands now of Boyd County. Hicks with it. Nice look down low to Ellis, and he's fouled by Veach, who checked into the ball game. I think they're going to call that on Veach. It is. Okay. <laughs> and on Veach, that's his first. That's the third of the quarter on Greenham County. 241 left to go, third quarter, 72-39. Triggered into Spurlock, deep three, good. Nice. 16 points this quarter. I'd say it's uh, an understatement to say he's on fire right now. He's picked it up. Eli Atkins with it, looks to Chanley, right wing. To Gammon, left wing, he'll fire for three. It's no good, good Holbrook out. with the rebound. To Taylor, up the right sideline, crosses into the middle. Out front it goes to Holbrook. Now to Ellis on the baseline. Nice good back, back cut by Taylor, good and he right. lays it up and in. Great That's pass that time good. by Jason Ellis. When your post player can make passes like that and handle, Coach. You got something That's a there. tough combination. Sure is. 77-39 now, Boyd County. Just under two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Eli Adkins cut off by Holbrook. Gives it to Gammon. Gammon will drive, cut off. His shot block gets it back, goes up again, and Hicks fouls him. Hmm. Hicks didn't agree. Hicks with his <laughs> second foul. He wanted that block shot. He you know. wanted the Both block shot. He got one. <laughs> and Casey Gammon. We'll toe the line, a pair of free throws, one out of two from there tonight. Now make it two out of three. Gammon with 13 to lead all Greenup County scores at this point. So Holbrook out, Hicks out, Ellis out, Smith in, Crum in, and Martin in for Boyd County. Gammon will have a second free throw here, though. It's up and is good. Casey Gammon with 14. 77-41, your score. Boyd County on top. A minute 30 left to go in the third. Martin with the basketball to Taylor left side. The right-hand dribble goes out front. Now goes behind his back, gets in the paint, mm. tries to kick it out to Smith. He thought Smith was on the wing. Smith moving towards the top of the key and threw it out of bounds. Good idea. That's the thing about Griffin Taylor. He's so unselfish. Sees the floor. Very unselfish. Gammon with the basketball. Guarded by Taylor. Goes around him and lays it up. No good. Martin with the rebound to Taylor. Taylor into the front court. Goes down in the corner to Garrett Crum. Crum, nice look to Martin. His shot's blocked out of bounds. Greenham County has some shot yep. blockers here, Coach. They do. So in for Greenham County. Now you have Veach. Chanley, Gibson, Gammon, and Eli Atkins. Triggered in into the corner to Spurlock, fall away three short. Rebound knocked around. Crum gets it, kicks it out now to Spurlock. 15-foot jumper, good. How many Spur got in the quarter? We're under 18. a minute, down to 22 seconds, actually. Veach with it to Chanley. Spurlock over top of his back and picks up his second. We got a running clock going here, 79-41. Triggered into Chanley and off of him and out of bounds. Clock is stopped now for whatever reason at 10.1. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, and the referees are telling them, running clock, yep. let's go. Now it starts running. Triggered into Griffin Taylor. 
down to six, into the front court, drives the middle of the lane, tries to go to Crum, balls on the floor, Greenup County has it, and that is where the quarter will end. At the end of three quarters of play, Boyd County leads Greenup County 79-41. You're watching the My Town matchup on the My Town Sports Network. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Welcome back as the Lions use a 30 to 6 third point uh, quarter coach uh, to turn this one into a running clock here against Greenup County. 79 yep. 41 going into fourth quarter. And Greenup County have the basketball to start the quarter. Eli Atkins will trigger it in here in the backcourt side. Just beyond half court, throws it in that backcourt side to Casey Gammon. Boyd County still in that man to man here. Gammon with it, gives it to Chanley on the right wing. Smith is on him. He'll try to take Smith to the hole, does shot is short. Gammon gets the rebound, knocked down to him. Down in the corner to Gibson, drives the baseline, puts it up from 15, and the iron was kind. Gibson has the touch. Yes, he does. The shooter's roll, he's got seven now, and it's 79-43, seven and a half left to go in this ball game. Holbrook with the basketball to Smith out front. Left side, it goes to Hicks. Hicks now brings it out front, gives it to Holbrook. Right side, it goes to Martin, out front to Hicks. Left side, Smith. One dribble up for three is no good, it's short. Crum with the offensive rebound, but he climbed over the top. Yep. Good effort, can't fault that. Crum picks up his first team foul, number one of the quarter for Boyd County. You got Spurlock with 30 right now. Something like that. Yes, sir. Gammon with the basketball. Gives it up to Eli Adkins. Eli looks, goes out top to Chandley. Chandley goes down right of the lane, puts it up, no good, foul, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Is that on Crum again? I'm going to assume that. Nope, they're going to call that, I think, on Drew Smith. Let's wait and see. Hmm. Nope, Alex Martin. <laughs> I didn't see Alex. I didn't see Alex in the vicinity there. Two free throws now for Chandley. The first one up and no good. Chandley 62.7% on the year. He's got two points thus far tonight. Six and a half left to go in the ball game. Musketeers trail the line 79-43. And Chandley second one up. This one is good. And here's the pressure you talked about. Yep, 2-2-1 two, two, press now for Greenup County. Hicks with it back court to Smith. Got by with a walk. Now to Hicks in the front court. It goes to Martin. Whoa. Skip pass to Holbrook. Nice touch pass to Smith for three and good. Great ball movement. That was extremely good ball movement. Six now for Drew Smith. Just over six minutes left to go in the ball game. The Lions have hit their average of 80. They're at 82, Greenup County 44. Gibson with the basketball, tries to go back door to Chanley, taken away by Crum. Nice touch pass ahead to Holbrook, who finger rolls it in. Five now for Holbrook, 84-44, Boyd County. Adkins with the basketball. 15-foot jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Holbrook. Throws it oh. way ahead to Martin, taken Not away, quite. though, by... Casey Gammon, Casey's going to take it, spins in the paint, shoots, no good. Knocked around into the hands of Drew Smith. Ahead to Hicks on the wing, pulls up for three. It's hard, 
Martin with the offensive rebound. Take it away, though, by Green of County. Adkins into the front court with it. Gives it up to Gammon. His shot blocked by Holbrook. Chased down by Smith. Smith the other way. Gives it up to Hicks. Nice pass to Martin who lays it in. Beautiful basketball. Eli Atkins, the only Atkins in right now for Greenup County. Bradley Atkins at the scorer's table, ready to come in at the next whistle. 86-44, Boyd County. Gammon with it to Chandley down in the left corner. Chandley looks. Crumb is on him. Out front it goes now to Gibson. Gibson hands it to Gammon, and we got, a, I'm assuming, timeout. a timeout. Yes, sir. It's going to have to be a full timeout in Greenup County, but they're just going to, well, are they going to take the timeout or just going to let the subs in? He's taking it. Okay, he's yeah, going to he, take he, it. He's, since he's, he's, Coach Al's has taken it. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. So, but, uh, you know, yeah, fatigue, I think, became a factor. Shout out to Coach Fraley and his uh, Lady Lions on a victory tonight at University in West Virginia. They won 83-75, Coach. Marcus Lewis in, what a behind the back pass from Gibson to a cutting. Eli Atkins knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Coach Allison don't mind that, he's saying. He's smiling about it, he's okay. Ethan Reardon into the lineup as well for Boyd County. Eli Atkins gets it in, dotted line, scoops, no good. Martin gets him, and Eli Atkins is going to go to the line and shoot two free throws. Boyd County's held him to two points this half, Coach. Yes. He, and he looks fatigued. He does. He's had double, you know, pressure all night, double teams, yes. et cetera. A couple times he's tried, to, or at least you would think he was going to try to hammer it. He uh, can get up. He can. Hits the first free throw. Phenomenal athlete. Yes, he is. And he's a senior, though. Hmm. I like this kid. Yep. Second one on the way is good. A lot to like. Yes, there is. He's got a tremendous upside. Boyd County breaks the press. Rarden will fire for three off the back iron. No good. Rebound chased down by Bradley Atkins of Greenup County to Chanley. Front court, Eli, or, yeah, Eli Atkins. Tries to go down low, take it away. Knocked into the hands of Rarden, who gets it to Crum down in the corner. He'll fire a three in and out. Rebound fought for, knocked out of bounds. Last touched by a white jersey. So Greenup County will get the basketball. The clock running at three. 31 left to go in the ball game. Boyd County is going to improve their record to a, uh, 16, make that 17 and four, and winners of three in a row. Greenup County is going to have a four-game winning streak broken and fall to 11 and 10. Bradley Atkins goes up for a three throw, no, or for a shot, no good. Alex Martin gets him; he'll shoot two free throws. And, you know, if you're Greenham County, you're looking ahead to Monday night anyway. That's your district game. You, you're going to try to get that one seed uh, in the 63rd district as Bradley Atkins hits the first. Boyd County looks ahead to Tuesday and Wes Carter. Both of those will be on the My Town Sports Network. Uh, Clark Huff in, Carter Ross in for Boyd County as well. And Atkins' oh. second one is good. He reaches double figures. Yep. Here comes that 2-2-1 two, two, press. Into the front court. Lewis with it. He walks with the basketball. 
Checking in that last whistle, too, for Greenup County, Sawyer Hatfield. Greenup sticking with three, uh, four starters still. Yep. Casey Gammon with the basketball, moves right. Takes it down to the corner, gets it to Chandley. Lewis is on him, moves to his left, goes up. Fouled, the shot won't go, hit the rim twice. They've made a concerted effort to get the ball to him on the block in the second half. Sure have, haven't they, Coach? Been a priority for him. Chandley to the line, three points tonight. Two free throws on the way. Chandley's first one up, it's short. I've seen a lot of that, Coach, yep. for their free throws tonight. A little, a little short here in the second half. Hayden Plummer checks in for the first time tonight for Greenup County. And Sawyer Hatfield will go back out. Chandler will have a second here. He takes his bounces and now lets it fly. Yep. This one is good. Have a look better. Boyd County the other way with it. They try to go down low to Lewis. Take it away by Green of County. Gammon will run the break. Out between the circles now right wing. Goes back down on that block to Chandley. Chandley turns around now faces the basket. Drives, spins, shoots and scores as Lewis falls. A minute 54 left to go, 86-51. Here comes that press. Ross with it. Now it uh, goes into the hands of Rarden to Ross. Down in the corner it goes to Crum. Three ball way off the mark. Backside rebound goes to Eli Atkins. Tries to go down in the corner. Saved in bounds by Bradley Atkins. Gets it to Chanley. Chanley drives lane, spins, gets it to Eli Atkins. Ten footer, no good. Lewis with the rebound and he's fouled with a minute 23 left to go. The clock's still running till they get it reported in. So Boyd County will get the basketball. That foul was on uh, Chandler. Chandler. Yep. yep. So Blake Sexton in. Colson Codwell, Cam May for Boyd County. Veach in again for Greenup County and for the first time tonight for the Musketeers is Landry Lewis. Shouldn't be free throw, that's the first foul on Greenup no, should, Coach. Well, that's what I, yeah, yep, they're looking the at the wrong end of the scoreboard. Sure was, he, he uh... Clock running down to 47 <laughs> seconds. Cam May triggers it in. Took a good 20 seconds there. Yep. Carter Ross with the basketball to Cam May. May drives. Tries to go to the corner, knock loose, but he chases it down. Out front it goes to Huff. Now to May, down to 28 seconds. Here comes the double team. And what's he going to do with it? He's fouled by Gammon. Down to 17 and a running clock here. They're just going to let this thing run with no free throws. And... Boyd County will trigger it in. Ross with the basketball. Down to five, and the Lions are just going to dribble this one out. And they're going to win it here tonight by a final score of 86 to 51. Let's go ahead and step out, take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the scoring for tonight. Plus, we'll talk to Boyd County head coach Randy Anderson. You're watching the My Town matchup on the My Town Sports Network. Hi, welcome to Clark's Pump and Shop. Can I just see our world famous crispy, crunchy chicken? Mmm. Take it. I'm gonna go to work. This holiday season, we're refueling with Clark's Pumpkin Shop. Return with fresh. Yo. Hopefully, you do too. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Wearing 
Wearing a seatbelt protects a driver in the event of a collision. And driving distraction-free protects everyone. Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important, and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call, and I can call any of them. Any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Welcome back, folks, here as the Lions have wrapped up a uh, dominating second half to pull away uh, 86-51 final score over Greenham County. And, you know, uh, second half, uh, defensively, they put the clamps down. Greenham County only able to score 16 points in the second half, uh, six in the third quarter and 10 in the fourth, and that was your ball game. And, and you know, the Lions got hot, too. But when you can hold a team to 16 points and a half, you got a good chance to win the basketball game. You, you absolutely do. Greenham had four field goals and eight free throws, Coach. Yep, but I'll tell you half. what, you Man. know, this, this score kind of got out of hand. They're they're a lot better than what this score is going to indicate Greenham County yep, is. Yep, I, I, think, I think fatigue was a factor there. I think trying to play uh, Boyd County style early. I heard them in the end. Yeah, give them some. I think what's called false hope yep. there in the first. You know, yes. you, you, man, you're playing right with them, and everything's going great, and all of a sudden, you're you're used to playing a style of of using 30 to 40 seconds on the clock, yes. and all of a sudden, you're playing every 10 to 15 seconds or less. Yes, that that catches up to you. It, it does, and you know, I I tell you what, it was uh, both ways. It was a pretty clean ball game. It was a very clean ball game. Great, great sportsmanship both ways. A lot of respect mutually from these teams and these guys here. You saw it. Uh, Coach Coach House is on to something special oh, there, Green County. Yeah, Coach. he is. I mean, he. I tell you what, he's doing a really good job down there, and you know, uh, and, and you know, sixty third is always a dog. Fight. That's exactly right. I mean, right. it really is. You can have, you know, any of the four teams to come out in any year. I mean, yeah. you know, Green County right now two and zero. Got Lewis County on Monday in uh, their third district game. You know, Raceland. We had a chance to watch them play earlier this year. And, um, you know, may not be as skilled as some of the other teams, but they play extremely hard. Uh, Coach, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, uh, Lawrence County Raceland yes. early on for most of the season have been the two hardest playing teams we've seen. Uh, yes. I, I think after, after – since then, I think Bell County put them right up there too, Coach. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, well, Bell County went huh. to an overtime and only played five guys. Five kids. They play, and they played extremely hard. They yes. didn't take a playoff. No, they didn't. You know, they didn't. And then you know, also in that 63rd, you have Lewis County, and Lewis County. It does not matter. They're going to be in there <laughs> at the end. I mean, they they just find a way every year. Um, you know, Scott Tackett's taking over uh, down there, and you know he's just picked up where Joe Hampton left off. And, uh, you know, in the postseason, man, they're a tough out. They are. Do they have a, a jerky still on the team? They do. As they long do. as there's a jerky in Lewis County, Coach, yes. Lewis County's going to have a chance in the yes. basketball court. They're going to have a chance. It does seem that way. <laughs> they can play. Yes. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at the unofficial scoring for the ball game. Unofficially, folks, for Greenup County, uh, Gammon and Eli Atkins uh, both had 14. Bradley Atkins with 10. Ethan Gibson off the bench with seven, and Bryson Chanley with six for a total of 51. And for the Boyd County Lions, the victors on the scoreboard tonight, Spurlock with 18 in the second half, finishes with 30. Hicks with 23. Griff Taylor with 11. He's, man, he's playing well lately. Ellis with eight. Uh, Drew Smith with six. Alex Martin with four. And Rhett Holbrook with five for, for a total of 86, Coach. Yep, and, uh, you know, um some point, though, you know, you, you're probably going to have to, you know, get that when you get to that postseason, it's going to slow down a little bit, <laughs> and then you're going to have to, to, you know, grind some things out. But you know, if you got guys willing to run with you, that's that's your strength. So, Boy County wins it here tonight by a final score of 86 to 51. Let's go ahead, step out, and take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to Boy County head coach Randy Anderson. You're watching the My Town Matchup on the My Town Sports Network. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. 
Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hey, Mac, have you heard this up and try fuel for the bowl season, man? We take it too long. Welcome back to Boyd County Middle School, folks, as the uh, Lions have uh, defeated the Musketeers 86-51 to 51 here, Coach. That was an absolute team effort, Yep, uh, Boyd County here, offensively and defensively. Yep, it was. And, you know, uh, we're going to be joined now by Boyd County Head Coach Randy Anderson. As, uh, like uh, Coach Holbrook just said, the Lions win it here this evening, 86-51 to 51 to up their record to 17-4 and winners of three in a row since the uh, defeat of Lexington Catholic down in the 2A state semifinals. And now joining me is Boy County head coach Randy Anderson. And uh, coach, tonight, you know, uh, at least to me looking from here, uh, that's one of the best defensive efforts I've seen. Well, the first half we, we kind of stretched it. Some things that down the road that we feel like we may have to have. Yes. May, may have stayed in our pressure stuff just a little bit too long there in the first. We just wanted to get as much as we could on film, um, not making excuses, but we gave up three or four, maybe five offensive boards. We usually don't do that. We haven't been here lately. And uh, so, uh, the halftime was, okay, now it's time to lock down. Let's, yep. let's guard it, man. Uh, let's, let's take them and get them off the drive lines and then one and dones. I thought all night long, though, we've really been stressing last week of getting out and running and stretching it. And uh, that was as good as we've had in a, in a long, long yep. time as far as pushing the ball and uh, people getting the court spread like they did. Uh, an unsung hero, just just Jason Ellis. I mean, he he is a war daddy. I don't know how many rebounds he ended up the second half, uh, but plays the middle well. Uh, he probably he may have double figures assist tonight, but uh, don't say enough about him. His leadership, he understands his role. Uh, I tell this story a lot. Uh, when we had our uh, summer meetings with him, uh, and I talked to Jay, I, I told him, you know, every year you, you've you kind of set your goal, you want to leave the 16th region in rebounding. And, and uh, you know, what 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 this year going to be your senior year? He said, Coach, I don't care about any of that. I just want to get our team to rub. I yep. want us to play it rough. And that, that shows you the true heart of him. And yes. So uh, I just really appreciate him. I really do. And, you know, you talked about uh, second half, you wanted to sit down and, and lock down. Um, six points uh, is all you gave up there in the third quarter. You you opened it up. You had the great defense, and Spur got hot. Yep. And, I mean, Cole had the hot hand in the first half. Yep. And uh, Spur caught fire. I thought his mid-range game was really good yep. tonight, the whole game. Um, but those guys, I mean, it, it doesn't happen by chance, and they didn't uh, – now, Jacob's dad will disagree with me, but uh, you don't inherit that. You work <laughs> and you develop it. And uh, But I tell you, baby, uh, he, he and Cole both, I mean, Drew Smith, you, mm -hmm. uh, it, Griffith's shot has really come along. Yes. But those kids really put in the time. I mean, it's it's one of those things that 
you don't get paid unless you work, and they work. And um, so anyway, I just I thought it was a great overall effort by everybody. I thought Red had great energy, and Four is a really really good athlete, a yes. good player, Atkins kid, and uh, especially the second half, he did a really good job of keeping him to his left and and uh, contesting and not giving up his feet once he did pick the ball up. Um, anyway, Coach Allison's done a really good job. Green up is um, uh, much improved, and uh, I think they, they may be someone to be reckoned with. Yeah, in, they're in that gonna, district. they're going to be a tough out, no doubt about that. They're two and zero in district play, and you know I thought too first half uh, your two two one really gave them a lot of trouble. It did early, you know, and like I said, you know you 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 did this before. Uh, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can get married to it for too long, you know yes. what I'm saying? And, and uh, I don't believe in divorce, but I do believe in change <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we, we've got to get better. We've got to get better at, over there, you know what I'm saying, to, yes. to change levels and change the face of it because uh, in high school, I mean, it, it is. It gets yeah. down to that. And I feel like we have um, a very intelligent team that's got mm. a pretty good IQ and, yep. and uh, should be able to make some changes like that. And so – Anyway, uh, this, this season started out. It seemed like we was on the road forever because we were. Uh, it's good to have a home stretch. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, great crowd tonight, just a great crowd. Yes. I know that uh, my town does an awesome job for those that can't get in here. But, uh, you know, Youth League night, we, we may want to look at having that two or three times a year. It was just well, uh, When you have to pull out the bleachers on the second deck, you've got something going. That's right. That's right. It's really good. And so – Anyway, just uh, real excited about for our kids. We're going to get a couple of days rest this weekend and then uh, go back at it. Um, got another busy week next week, but yep. that's it's getting to the end of the year. It's hard to believe we we got nine yep. left. Yep, nine regular season nine games left. left. Just pray the Lord's had his feel of snow as well as us, and uh, <laughs> we have no cancellations. But uh, just a really good night, really good yeah. atmosphere. And, and tonight too, something else as well. Team really shared the basketball. Yeah, you know, the other night, uh, it might have been in the Fairview game, um, we had 29 assists. And uh, I, I try to preach to our kids. That, that tells me that our circle has really good hearts. Yeah. You know, because that's that's one of the great characteristics of, of, uh, of being a servant person is being able to share it. And uh, our guys have done a really good job this last five or six game yeah. stretch of doing that. Yep. Coach, and uh, next week we start off with Wes Carter. You know anything about them? Uh, they're once again they're getting better. They're big. Big has been out, and uh, he'll be back, and uh, which gives them some toughness inside. Uh, Coach Webb's son's a really nice yep. player, and uh, we, we talked about this when we was talking about the kids from Fairview. The kids from Carter County are going to play hard. Oh yes. And so uh, you know it's not one of those things where we just show up, put the unis on. We're we're going to prepare for them, and, and uh, uh, every game, if you're going to be great, has to be a big game, and so it's a big game for us. Yep. Coach, I appreciate your time. Congratulations on another win, and we'll talk to you again on Tuesday. Yes, sir. Can I can I give a shout-out yep, to go my ahead. mom? Yep, uh, absolutely. My mom is one of those gold star watching people, and uh, she she loves basketball, and she loves our team, and, and I know she's watching um, along with my wife, and I just like to shout-out to them. No problem at all. Congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you, sir. That's Boyd County Head Coach Randy Anderson. His Lions win it here tonight over a tough Greenup County team by a final score of 86-51. to 51. Um, Second half, they only gave up 16 points and uh, were able to put the game away. But uh, the Lions will be back in action Tuesday night. We'll be on the air around 7.15 or so uh, as they'll play host to West Carter. Greenup County. We'll be uh, back on uh, on the air, though, before then. They'll be on Monday night, and that will be in a um, in a district game, a 63rd district game against the, uh, the Lewis County Lions for them. And they're going to try to run the first half of that district undefeated. The Musketeers in the 63rd district right now sitting at a 2-0 record after beating Russell and after uh, beating... Raceland. So, tell you what, uh, the future's looking bright for Greenham County basketball. Sure is, Coach. Coach Allison, Coach, uh, doing a heck of a job down there. Very impressive. Got the athletes out. Uh, once they get a few things figured out, Coach, you, <laughs> yeah, Katie bar the door. Well, he's he got some athletes. Yep, he sure does. He sure so, does. Once again, Boyd County wins it here tonight, 86-51. Special thanks to MJ and Seth. 
uh, upstairs here getting all this video and everything on where yep. we just have to show up and and uh, do this part. So yeah, that makes it a lot easier on us. Absolutely. Thank them very much. Yep. All of them in my town. Appreciate yep. them. So, like I said, once again, Monday, Greenup County plays host to Lewis County in a 63rd district game that will be here on the My Town Sports Network. Boyd County's next action Tuesday here at home on the My Town Sports Network against Wes Carter. 86 to 51, your final score. Boyd County wins it. Thanks to uh, the best broadcast partner in the bit is Tom Holbrook for getting me through another one. Boy, I tell you what, he is. Uh, have you had your medication today, I've coach? I've had so. my medication today, <laughs> coach. So until Tuesday night, good night and God bless.